Hey everyone, I just brought up the feed. We're going to check it out and then we will be going live. Yep. One second here. <clears throat> Hope everyone had a wonderful day today. Yep. Let's find this. Derek's just going to say yep to everything. Pretty much. Pretty much. There you are. There we are. Got that. One last thing. Hojo in the house. How are we doing, Holly? Let me get the microphone on here. There we go. So we can actually hear. Hold on. One quick thing. And we'll be going live. TV Kids Live. There we go. Okay. Bring up some notes here. We got that. Lock loaded. Derek, you ready to go? Yes, indeed. You awake? Nope. Yep. Holly, how's the uh, how's the old uh, sound of Rooney sound? Sound of Rooney sound. That's a good one, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Checking. Check, <laughs> check. One, two, three. Bring it. Actually, let's get the notes up here so I know what we're going to talk about. That's a good idea. Yeah? Are you sure? I hope so, yeah. Where yeah. is... Where are my notes? Where's the notes, Dee? Oh, my gosh. I sent them to you. Did you text them to me or in the notes? Text, I texted them. Oh. I well, that's text my them. problem. Sorry, kids. Uh oh Hopefully my mic is still plugged in. Huh? No, I'm just trying to get my mic set up. Oh, come on. Sorry. Not where I thought things were. There they are. I always send them to you. I know. It's captivating television, kids, I know. There yep. we go. Okay. Now that I've got that locked and loaded. And do we have Vic and Ricky watching us? Vic, The Vic and Rick and Irene uh, crew watching us? If so, shout out. Say hi, D. That's hi. Uh, Hojo's. That's Holly's kids. Oh. Vic is a big fan of the Fortnite as well. So, okay, here we go. Three. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is KCP Kids. Hello, everybody. Yes, Derek's going to talk over me before the intro here. How are we doing tonight, D? Good, good, good. Yeah, he's really excited. We've got a live show for you guys tonight uh, on the Facebooks, as per the usual now. Yep. And we're recording for the podcast that we will drop tomorrow. Hope everyone out there are watching us on Facebook. Had a wonderful day. Vic and Rick are watching right now. Irene is yep. probably uh, bossing mom around, if I had to guess. That's uh, Hojo's wonderful daughter. I've got to say that the Not Boring book, one of my favorite things. So I, uh, I really enjoyed that. Derek doesn't know what I'm talking about, but no, that, was a, that was a post from uh, Holly earlier. I, I really enjoyed that. That was pretty sweet. So anyway, as always, we want to start with something good that happened to us since the last time we recorded. I think it was the last week or the week before. Derek, what do you have going on that is something good for you? Uh, my basketball season has started. Your basketball season has started. Yep. When did that start? It started about three days ago. Three days ago on Monday, right? Yep. So what have you guys been doing? Enough with the yups, okay? We're, we don't have the yups here. I'm going to correct you live. Gosh, no. We've been <laughs> dribbling, shooting, free throws, and all that. Yeah, and you guys got assigned to teams today, correct? Yeah. Yeah. And you said there was like, what, 59 kids out for the team? 59 or 60. 59. Yeah. That is a, I don't remember. I mean, I know that we had a lot of kids out. When I played, you and I were talking about this earlier, but I don't know that we had 60 kids. But this is combined 7th and 8th grade, right? Yeah. Okay. It's so, com- oh, yeah, 7th seven, yeah, seven and 8th grade is combined, yep. Very nice. So you're. Uh, it sounds like you're going to be the anchor, the center, the man in the middle that's going to pull down all of the uh, rebounds. Is that how that's going to work for you? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Depends on if you get your handle on lock, as mm-hmm. the kids say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you love it when Dad uses all the kid talk, don't you? Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's your favorite. Well, let's uh, let's get right to the show. What we're here for the main the main thing that we like to get down with here at the uh, KCP Kids to start every show off, and that is of course Fortnite. Yep. 
What have you got for us tonight, Derek? And that was another yup. I'm going oh, to start, start dinging you every single time mm. you say yup. I'm going to give you an extra chore or something. How's that sound? No. Okay. That sound good to you? Nope. No, okay. Nope. Yeah, nope and yup. I mean, you're going to name your kids that, I bet, right? Yeah, nope no. and yup. Get no. over here. Yeah, go ahead. What, what's up with the Fortnites? So, well, I was going to say, uh, I got, it's another good thing that happened. I got a PC oh, I, for yeah, Christmas. I, okay, there you go. And uh, that's just part of the Fortnite that I'm going to start streaming on Twitch. Mm -hmm. But the main part is that uh, the Silent Sniper okay. has came out on Fortnite. Out. Came out. In Fortnite. And um, so basically what it is is the Bolt Action Sniper. It comes in blue, purple, and gold. It's basically the same thing except for um, the Silent Sniper... It has a, sil a silencer on it, so basically when you shoot, it's not as quiet, and it does 105 to the body, or 100. 105 what? Damage to the body. Is that a lot? Yeah, it's pretty much. I mean, you have 200 health if you have full shield and full health. Okay, so, so. if you get hit by this in the noggin, is it just two shots and you're done for? No, it's one shot and you're done for the head. Oh, is his head more, is that yeah, head something head more? Yeah, headshot is about 200. Oh, wow. Because yeah. it's so much harder? Yeah, it's harder to hit the head, yeah, because okay. the box is smaller, the aiming box. So, um, so yeah, the new Silent Sniper came out. I haven't gotten to try it yet, but I'll tr we'll try it soon, Yeah, and we'll tell you guys how it, it um, works. Any other uh, cool things that have happened in the last week or so? Any changes? Any big wins? Let's go over your statistics since we last broadcast. Will you move that glass of water back? You're just scaring the everyday lights out of me here. So, uh, since I got a PC... I did hook up my um, PS4 account to the PC, but sadly it does not track your wins to the PC, but I got three wins on PC so far. I got a duo scrim. Um, so, well, hold on now. Let's, so, okay. let's bring it back now. Let's tell everyone out there that may not know what a scrim is. A scrim is like a scrimmage. So basically it's like basketball or football or anything. You go against people, but it's it's kind of like it's so it's called it's, it was the um, Discord um, NA West Pro Scrim with all the YouTubers and Twitch streamers and all those and all the sweaty Twitch streamers out there. Did you say sweaty? Yeah, like what? they sweat their heart out. They just sweat their battle out. They're playing a video game. Yeah, they, I mean, I There's sweat when I play a game. My hands kind of shake when I'm like getting down. Uh, I think we might have to have a talk about this. Maybe a little intervention time or something. Eh? Yeah, but yeah, so. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, the, it's kind of like, it's changed, uh, a lot more on PC because it's way different for me, at least mm -hmm. it's way different, but as the, about the duo scrims, um, so the duo scrims is basically is a scrimmage, like I said, and so, but it's a duo. And so what it is, is a discord. If you guys don't know what discord is, it's a thing. It's like, you can chat and talk to people on a app on the computer I mean, I don't have Discord yet, but my friend had Discord that I was playing with, and he had the NA West Duo Pro Scrims, and so we went into the Pro Scrims, and he we won the game. You won and, the whole. Yeah. So you beat YouTubers like legit YouTubers. We're not I mean, talking Ninja or anything like no, that. No, not that big. Not like no, like like a thousand to two thousand. I mean, maybe more, but like just around the range of smaller to like starting you know youtubers i mean they're good they're really good though like they were insanely good but it was a lot of fun and we won the game very nice right now who is that that you were playing with was that somebody that you know or no, it, was just, it was a random I, so i went to random duos and i met that guy and he asked if i want to play a pro duo scrims for the na west and um I was like, sure, and so we won the game. It was pretty sweet. So you talked about how you now have your your PC. You're you're on the PC now, rather, yeah. rather than the PS4. Give mm -hmm. us an idea of when, especially me. I'm really naive to this, obviously. What is the big difference as a gamer between the PS4 and the PC, and which one, if you had to? recommend one which one would you go w would you recommend for somebody that's starting out or or something like that so we're going to get into this later um but here's just a little you know, preference okay yeah no okay we'll save that no you're right you're right i'm sorry we'll we'll save that a bit i i do 
I do want to say though that we're going to get into a little bit about being a YouTuber, Twitch streamer, yeah. things like that. So and how to start, like how to like get like what's like in my opinion, in my opinion, not anyone else's, just my opinion of how to like become a streamer and a YouTuber. With, I mean, you're gonna have a, you know some spend some bucks, but you know, it's not like it's like where you have to like spend a two million dollars not that's well obviously um, not yeah, two million dollars two thousand dollars on a PC two million dollars on a PC for you we're gonna have a talk and for mainly a mom's gonna have a talk with me yeah but it's not like that it's like just like which one I think's better and all that for people so so yeah. we'll we'll get back to the gaming stuff for a little bit we had uh, some some stuff going on though we'll just get a little life stuff going here how was Christmas break it was a lot of fun it was I mean, it was so. I had, we, I ran two miles every day. After, and why is that? Because basketball is starting up, and we run in basketball and run in basketball. And then you run a little bit more after you ran. Yeah. Yeah. And so I I ran in the morning and one time in the afternoon, and it it helped it's helped me. It hasn't helped really. I mean, it's helped with the soreness, but we do something where we touch the floor and dribble at the same time, and it kind of the um upper of your thigh um it kind of it pulls that muscle that i haven't really used in a while <laughs> and which muscle is that the, the, the one on the, the upper, upper thigh, that the you upper haven't thigh used right here often? yeah oh the quads yeah the quads yeah, and the one that when you're sitting on your rear end watching or playing uh, uh random duos and all that you're not using your quads a lot no it's because we works? have to we have to crouch down and dribble the ball oh, and run crouching and so crouching teenager that kind of thing. <laughs> no. So it's kind of, you know, it just stretches out yeah, those. Yeah, jokes. Yeah. But the running the two miles, it, I, I can see a little bit of help. Or not, just a little bit, a lot of help yeah. in that. So it's like, and it's, you know, just it's good exercise, especially after, you know, Christmas. Christmas. And eating. And lots of good food. New sitting. Year's. Having yep. all kinds of fun with that kind of stuff. Any other yep. highlights of the Christmas break? Were, yeah. you, were you glad to get back to school? Yeah, yes and no. Well, how do you have yes and no? We yes, need to have one or the other. Yes, because, you know, I haven't seen my friends in a while, and it's nice to get back on, you know, something that you can, you know, just do. Because basically, I run in the morning, take a shower, and then just do nothing the rest of the day. So well, no, come on. I mean... That's not exactly the truth. You didn't just do nothing all day. You, whether you, I mean, yeah, you played games and stuff like that, but and we have work and whatnot. But yeah. you had chores and you monkeyed around oh, yeah, and definitely. did stuff. And I, I will say that I am proud of you for getting out there and and getting after it. Getting, you know, we we'd had mm -hmm. to prod you a little bit, but each day we didn't have to. You got up and you went and did your run and that kind of stuff. So I've yeah. I've got to applaud you for that. But it's uh, next year you'll probably you know you did have the lead in though from wrestling which i think that helped quite a bit because you were in in decent shape from wrestling yeah but it's a different type of shape that you need mm -hmm. for basketball other than or from wrestling am i right yeah i mean in my opinion it's kind of like wrestling and basketball it's in my opinion it's like kind of like a a little bit of the same thing because in wrestling it's about you know having good cardio and be able to you know last longer and breathing and just just have like better cardio pretty much and in basketball it's about the same thing you have to last longer with your cardio and use your cardio wisely because if you just sprint and sprint and sprint it's you know it's not it's you gotta slow down the race you know cause yeah exactly you yeah well you fast. gotta you don't want to you don't want to you know tire or wear yourself out too fast but you also have to be mindful that the game is a long time wrestling yeah is a lot more explosive in that you only have, well, for you, you only had a couple of minutes. What'd you have? Uh, first first round was two minutes, and then second and third round were one minute? It, anyway, it was something like that. But conserving yeah. your energy and being wise with it is a very yeah. important part of that. Definitely. Well, let's jump into the, uh, the animal segment, which is always one of your favorite when we yep. do this kind of stuff so what is the animal that you have chosen to focus on today mr derek the crocodile and Dundee. what <laughs> no crocodile. Dad jokes. um the crocodile and just before we talk any more about it a crocodile is not an alligator 
Totally and, different. Wait, hold on. But is an alligator a crocodile? No. It's what, the, huh? they're, they're not. They're, You're confusing me. I thought a crocodile was an alligator. Okay, no. Okay, so a crocodile is... A true crocodile are large, large aquatic animals, or reptiles, that live throughout the tropics in Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia. And also known as a crocodilian. Okay, so... Now, we do get these in the southeast part of the United States. Am I right? We're talking yeah. Florida. The Ar- humid, more humid, swampy areas. Okay. So, yeah. Which that's is like Florida. Be, yeah, Florida. Like Florida. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Do they have them in Mexico or the Bahamas? Any, do you know if they have them no, anywhere like I that? I mean, those, I mean, anywhere like tropical is like, there's, like, like we were going to say is that there's saltwater crocodiles and, um... There are the Nile crocodiles, and so... That sounds like some kind of sports team, the Nile crocodiles. No, there's Nile crocodiles, and we'll get into, like, the lifespan, the speed that they have, but uh, they're, um, they're classified, the, the crocodilians, all, all of those members are considered true crocodiles, is classified as a biological subfamily. Okay. What does that and, mean? So, like, a subfamily is, like, I'm not 100% um, sure. Okay. But it's, um, a subfamily is, like, it's, like, a species, pretty much. Okay. This is another word for a species. It's just the sub of the family. So, like, you've got the crocodile up here, and then you've got, like, the Nile crocodile down below it? Is that no, what we're looking actually, at? No, actually, that's, that's, no. So The other way around? No, so the so the lifespan of a saltwater crocodile is seventy years. The Nile crocodile is seventy to a hundred years. Are you kidding me? Those things live that long. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a turtle. Turtles live a long time too. Okay, here, I do have a question. I hope you can answer this. It confuses me. A crocodile and an alligator. Which one is bigger? Is the crocodile bigger than the alligator? Yes, a crocodile. Okay. Is bigger. I thought because crocodiles well, are the ones that can get like fifteen feet long or something. Am I right? Yeah, I mean crocodiles are more of a. In my opinion, I think the alligators are more slim and speedy, and, and the crocodiles are more big and fierce. And it's big and like, fierce. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of. I t- like that. It's like a tiger and a lion. Yeah. You know, Kind of like that. And, and so then the Nile crocodile, the speed. So the speed on the saltwater crocodile is 15 to 18 miles per hour. On land or in the water? In the water. And wow. Yeah, in the water. And the Nile crocodile is 19 to 22 miles per hour. Wow. So you can see a big difference in speed. And it might just be because, I mean, it's in the Nile River, but it could just be it's a breeded species with other... It could be breeded, you know, with... An, bread. Uh, bread with... Bread. With um, different species to make it go faster or something, but they call I it the I don't think salt. we have any type of, like, Thanos crocodiles out there with the <laughs> infinity dials or whatever. Yeah, I know. I don't know, but... Here's a did you know of the crocodile. Did you know studies have shown that crocodiles are able to convert as much as 50 to 70% of their food into growth and energy? Okay, so let's break that down a little bit. That means that of everything that they eat, they can yeah. they can make energy out of that. Yeah, I mean, so that's it's, it's whole, kind of, that's kind it's, of the whole idea behind it, eating, isn't it? Yeah, but they're 50 to 70%. We're lower than that. We're, we, we can't... So, like... For them, they you know how they eat a lot and they eat a lot of meat and they're not very you know. And they, they eat people. <laughs> no, not really. Not usually. No. Um, well, but if they're hungry. You never know. Yeah, you never know if an asteroid is going to hit you. But, That's very true. <laughs> um. So yeah. So basically, it means that the, when they Little eat plate. food, um, seventy percent of their food or fifty percent of their food goes. They can push that into. So say. They eat a big meal, then all of a sudden, if they're in salt water from the ocean, and... Well, where else would salt water be from? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm on one tonight, aren't I, D? Mm-hmm. I'm making your job a lot easier when you're doing this show. Yeah. <laughs> and But, no, but basically, it's like, so say they had a giant meal, and um some, and all of a sudden, the great white shark started chasing them, and they can, so then that they can boost that food into energy and oh so they can you're saying that they can process the food 
much faster than say we can. They yeah, can, they're, they can they digest it. Yeah, they can put it into a um, just put it into energy. Like when we run and we eat, you know, you want to eat oatmeal and stuff because it gets your brain thinking. You know, and it can process well, you're more using things. Carbohydrates to yeah. create. So it's basically like that, but they just have they can just put it into energy and swim longer and all that. So these are these things can live up to a hundred hundred years. The Nile crocodile. The, so the Nile crocodile can live to seventy to a hundred years. Seventy to a hundred years. And the saltwater crocodile can live to seventy years. But that's just like a preference. Like that's like a thing that's like they they've seen a crocodile live that long. It, I mean, it could just go to seventy one years or seventy years in one month. Or it's not oh, like yeah, I mean, it's obviously. not like it's just you know, like exactly 70 because i bet out there a saltwater crocodile could have lived 100 years to 100 well, years well there's all they kinds could've. of them out there that we don't know anything about yeah i mean they could be they could be living 125 years but if they're yeah. in the middle of the amazon jungle then we have no mm -hmm. way of tracking them it's not like they're humans so yeah and that's another thing one of the media about tropics is the amazon you know it's a tropic that's where the, a lot of alligator the crocodiles. crocodiles live and alligators live there too and um so but if i would um switching over to um if i would think an alligator or a crocodile if they went against each other mm -hmm. i think a crocodile would win that's just because it's just like crocodiles are fast swimmers but and so and obviously so are alligators but i just i would think that the crocodile would that win this is fight. this is not based on anything scientific this is no. based on your thoughts yeah. on how the fight between a, you know, I'm sure at some point in time a crocodile and an alligator have gotten together and tangled. I wonder if that's yeah, some if is there any type of YouTube video? Have you ever seen a YouTube video of that, like a croc and an no. alligator? There are some because I saw this. Uh, oh, I saw a video on YouTube of this. I believe it was a crocodile because it was huge, and it was yeah. walking across a golf course. I thought it was some kind of animatronic fake thing but they, they said <laughs> yeah. it was they said it was real i couldn't believe how big the dang thing was so mm -hmm. anyway no that's uh that's pretty interesting stuff and as we always want to encourage everyone send us an email derek now actually has an email address with kinetic chaos yep. so if you would like to email directly to derek any questions you may have about Fortnite, streaming whatever it may be you can just send him a message at or not at Derek at kineticchaos.com and that yep. will go right to you and Derek will answer you directly so if you have any questions on any of that stuff you want to give us a, a, an idea of something that you would like us to cover in turn in the animal segment or anything like that shoot us a shoot us an email Definitely. we're also looking at uh, we're gonna kind of get into the streaming and things like that now um, want to let you guys know that we're looking to put together what we're calling the KCP Stream Team. Derek yep. has started a uh, Twitch stream, mm -hmm. and Derek's Twitch yep. stream is, you can go to twitch.com, or no, it's twitch.tv. Yeah, it's... Backslash KCP underscore D slay d s l a y go ahead yeah but you're gonna want don't type in tv type in twitch.com oh. backslash or slash yeah. kcp oh underscore so you don't go to com slay. i mean you don't go to tv no just because the easiest way just go twitch.com slash kcp underscore no spaces underscore d slay s l a y s l a y and you can find Derek on his new uh, Fortnite uh, handle, and that is KCP Gaming. He's running the main yep. KCP uh, Fortnite account for us now, as he is the only one currently that is on the team. Yep. But we are going to be building that team out. So if you have an interest in possibly joining the KCP stream team, Shoot Derek or me an email. Uh, again, Derek is just D E R E K at kineticchaos.com, and I am yeah. Will at kineticchaos.com. And we're going to be looking at kind of expanding our streaming options. I've even kind of had an idea of starting up an old guy's stream for old school Nintendo, like Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Brothers. Hey, 
I'm telling you, if Wes and I got down with a stream tournament with people, not a tournament because we can't do it online, but if we had just like uh, an evening of us streaming, I don't know, whatever game it might be, I think that would be a kick in the pants because we could stream Legend of Zelda and a game that, you know, dad with this seven digits could actually... uh, could actually you know get down with and have fun with so Mm -hmm. Vic I think you might want to be a part of the stream team out there if I had to guess so uh, So, Billy your dad and I are going to be talking about that and we're going to be getting that stuff together because we want to get you a KCP handle on Twitch if we can yeah and go to um, on Instagram if you have Instagram uh, go to um, KCP stream team Oh yeah, I forgot we have on socials Instagram now. and, and um, Twitter. You can just shoot me a message on there and say, you know, you want to join, and um, then you can send me your Epic Games if you're on PS4, Xbox, um, PC, Nintendo Switch, phone, whatever, all the above. Just send me a message on Instagram if you have Instagram, and if you don't, then like you said, on email and or Twitter because now we have the KCP or twi- or stream team uh, Twitter handle as well. Yeah. And so then you can just shoot me a message and, you know, you can send me your Epic Games and we can play a little bit and we'll talk. And then um, once it's all said and done, we'll put your name in um, our Instagram and you'll be part of the team. And we're, uh, so I've been doing some research on this. I'm, I'm leaving Derek up, or this, a lot of this up to Derek. He's He is our our main man when it comes to everything kids related. I'm, yeah. I'm in, in the background kind of poking him a little bit to get things going but I did some research on what it takes for us to build a clan or a, a, well basically it's a this partner program within Fortnite and or no Twitch excuse me mm-hmm. so we have to we have to basically get through some achievements and then we can become part of this partner thing and we can create our own stream team and they I think they actually call it a stream team on Twitch as well. So uh, it, re- it requires some game time kind of, kind of stuff. So uh, like you have to spend a specific amount of hours live streaming and we so we have to build our stream up because we have to have viewers on there watching us. And then once we get that up enough, then we can have our KCP stream team on Twitch and but we want to, you know, our Derek's brother, my oldest son Brandon and some of his friends are looking, and Billy, uh, Hojo's wonderful husband, uh, they have interest in other games, as does Derek, but we're looking at uh, Battlefield Five, uh, Red Dead Redemption. We're talking, I would even, because if there's a game out there that I enjoy and that I know something about, that would be Clash yeah. of Clans. I am a, yep. I know I was really behind the eight ball in the Clash of Clans, but I, I can Twitch stream my Clash of Clans stuff as well from my phone. And I, I'm almost maybe. positive I can't because that's how they run. I've watched it on the old Twitch Rooney yeah, or maybe. YouTube, whatever. But anyway, so we just kind of want to get into that that whole world a little bit, the gaming, because Derek enjoys it. And we want to also promote responsible gaming. Um, we talked about it before with Derek, and I think on the last show, that Derek doesn't play video games Monday through basically Friday afternoon. So yeah. we once he gets home from practice on Friday evening, then he plays, he's, you know, it's not that he's not allowed. I didn't, mom and I did not set this rule. Derek gave himself this yeah. rule, and that's that he doesn't play during those times. And because of that, this young man is this close to having straight A's. Yep, you five have, A's, one B, and I'm finishing a project on Friday. I should get that B up to an A. So straight A's. So almost. now that he's kind of implemented this plan, he has gone from. I mean, he had all right game grades, but now we're almost to straight A's. So we also, you know, we want to have some parental oversight here. We want to mm-hmm. let the the folks out there that that are you know concerned about the kids getting too much game time and things like that. We're very aware of that. Especially, you know, in yeah. this house, we're we're very we're very not. It's not that strict thing, and and we're really proud of you that that you've taken that initiative to only you know to limit yourself to some degree. So, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's part of what our what our ideas are for this as well. We want to promote good gameplay, fair gameplay, 
uh, positive gameplay also. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to see people out there calling people bad names. We don't want to, no. we don't want to have a negative experience, right? Yeah. Because you know what that's like. Uh-huh. I, mean, I mean, like sometimes I'm like bop or Yeah, the destroyed. bop thing. Will you please explain what the heck bop means? Because so, mom and I, it drives us about crazy. So you know if you ever like get bopped in the head by your parents or something. What? <laughs> when have I bopped you on the no, head? No, I'm not saying you. I'm just saying. Then what other anyone, parents? Ever, if, you, if, you, if you ever get bopped in the head or get, you know. And if you get, if you headshot someone or something, you say bop. And then you like, you bopped them. Or then you, you say, get clapped, kid. Yeah. yeah and that then, one, that this sound, you guys are the most gangster 12 and 13 year olds I know. You get clapped, kid. It's does, just that, like, does that mean it's just like you are, you're just yeah, giving them a round of clap, applause? Like, I mean, a lot of people say get, get your cheeks clapped because, you know, you just kill them. And so, I mean, it's weird. People say it, but, I mean, like, it's kind of from Daquan because Daquan's like, get yeah, destroyed, he's a he, huge get clapped, bop. Yeah, and he said, it's, it's just, um, I don't know, it's a weird thing. But let's get on to this segment, how to become a gamer. Yeah, let's get into that because we are running a little bit long here. So, yep. We uh, we want to hear what what you, from your standpoint what it takes to begin a streaming career. Now, are you going to get into hardware, or are we looking more at software stuff? Well, I mean, a little bit. It's kind of just so like it's kind of mm-hmm. a little bit of both. Okay. It's, um. So it's kind of like if, in my opinion, a good starting console is just your phone. Honestly, if you have a phone that's an iPhone and even a Samsung Galaxy Note Nine thing. That's a good starting, just getting used to the game, getting used to like... And we're talking where, Fortnite here, correct? Yeah, for, okay. just Fortnite right now. And it's a good... It It's harder to stream and stuff like that. This is just for beginners to get used to the game, you know, get used to like what to do and what not to do pretty much. Because it's you don't want to get used to the controls on your phone. Because if you want to start streaming mm-hmm. on, so if you want to start streaming, this is the thing that I think is the best for start streaming. In my opinion, a PS4 is one of the best, um, just is one of them, uh, streaming. And I'm not hating on Xbox players because I, I don't like Xbox personally. But, that's just but if that's what you had, that's what you would play. Yeah, that, exactly. If that's what you had, that's what you should play, honestly. Xbox, PS4, you know, anything. It's it's all about if you can make it good. If you can well, it's play w- it. how you can play it. Yeah. So as we move along from the consoles, then what are we looking at in terms of getting, you know, we're 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 getting into gameplay and stuff like that. We've got the game down. We're understanding that. Yeah. What's our next step to getting into being a YouTuber or a gamer? So or if we're talking PC or console, well, either one. Let's so, okay. Let's talk. Let's talk from where you're standing now. Now kay. you are in the PC crowd. So if you're in PC, it's it's more of you're gonna want to have a PC that can run Fortnite at about sixty frames per second mm. or more. I mean, you can have it more, honestly. I you mean, don't really need it, though, no, right? I have I have mine at one. Well, yes, you. Well, you, you run have it at one twenty, but yeah. you don't have to. No, you don't have to. You can run it at sixty or even forty four. You can, but. You're gonna, you know, just if you're gonna want to stream, you're gonna. Most streamers run it at 60 frames per second. Mm-hmm. So what I learned something new is that 60 frames per second, or frames per second in general, means that if you have 60 pictures in one slideshow and you go through it like that, and then that's what it basically means. It's so you're pictures. looking, you get to see 60 frames of slides yeah. in one second. Yeah. Okay. And so that's basically what it is. And so then, especially with the, then with the gaming thing, what you're gonna want to get is OBS. Open Broadcasting Software Studio. That's the key, and that's that's not a. He's not it's, emphasizing um, yeah. that as a joke or anything, because as I was helping him set up the Twitch stream, which took us a considerable amount of time yeah. to figure out, that is one of the. I think there are three uh, OBS yeah. programs, but the OBS Studio it's is the one very you get. important. Yeah, and so then what you're gonna do is. You're gonna get your gameplay set up on there, and you then you're gonna put your um, your um, broadcasting on your computer up. Uh, so you want to put it in your stream key, mm-hmm. and so basically now what you that do, is generated within OBS, correct? Yeah. OBS. And so basically, what you do is you go to if you're on PC, you go to um, 
um, go to Twitch and you go onto dashboard and then it should say stream key mm -hmm. and you go you copy it and you then once you copy it you go to the stream key where it says on settings in um, OBS and you put that in so that means that your broadcasting will go automatically to Twitch and then after you get all that and you get that make sure that your Fortnite is actually on the screen you click start streaming or start recording because you yeah. can start or you can do both yeah or you can do both and then you um, uh, click out of it, go in your gameplay, and then you should be good. And then if you want to get, you know, it's kind of, I'm still learning how to do it, so my screen doesn't fully um, open. Yeah, I mean, with all things considered, you are, are we into it a week of streaming now? Was it last Sunday that we set it up? Yeah. It last was, Saturday or Sunday? I think it was Sunday, wasn't it? Not No, not last um, weekend. It was the weekend after that. Before that, right? No, last weekend, because last week was, was New Year's, and we set it up just before New Year's, didn't we? Or did we set it up on New Year's? No, we set it, anyway. up, be no, we set it before. Okay, anyway. we Because we the before. week before that was Christmas, and you hadn't gotten the console yet. Yeah, I got, so the week after, the, the Anyway, the regardless weekend, of yeah, when okay, it was, whatever. it was not very long ago. Yeah, and so that's basically what you have to do, and then when you're done, boom, boom, bam, you're done. You click stop streaming. Did you say streaming. boom, boom, bam? Yeah, okay, Is that stop, a part stop. of the technical aspect? And so then once you click stop streaming, you should be good. And you can also get a webcam, and then you can have your face, and you can also get mics like this and hook it up. And you can have a lot of bunch of things, and then you have your mouse and keyboard. And what I was starting, I w what I was using is a big flat screen TV, but you can also use a small one. Yeah, you. It you, works better. With Derek screen. actually took some of his uh, Christmas money that he garnered this year, and yeah. purchased himself a new twenty-four inch flat screen. Yeah. To go along with it, and that's running pretty well for you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a really good opportunity for you to create a video on Twitch that you narrate and teach people how to do this. Because how did we learn how to do it? We went to the YouTubes, right? Yeah. Well, I think that you don't necessarily have to broadcast it, but you can record it, and then we can put it into a separate post onto the new page that will be going up this week on yep. KCP for gaming. Yeah. I think that, and, and as we kind of, you know, kind of ramp you up and get you more involved in this stuff, even writing, more creating that kind of stuff because it's something that you definitely have an interest in. Yep. And you know whether it's you know, we had a goal of you running this show on your own by your thirteenth birthday. Well, what are we staring down the barrel of? Oh, your uh, my thirteenth birthday. birthday. Holy yeah. moly, son! Are you asleep already? Mm -mm. My goodness. So yes, catch next, my yep. I said uh, yeah. Yep. Ah, dang it. It'll be a quarter every time. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, next Thursday, Derek turns 13. We're not quite ready for him to run the show yet. Not yet. But that doesn't mean that we can't give it a try because with all this wonderful fancy equipment that you now have, you can yep. produce podcasts, you can produce any audio and video virtually that you want. So look for Derek to be creating more content. It's been something that he's been very excited about for a long time, and now he's got the please don't drink the water around the very nice microphone. <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to be expanding that because we, you know, me as somebody looking for the future of digital and things like that, I think that it's, uh, there's a big part of the you know, population that's interested in that. Yeah. And it's something that you like, and I like that you and I get to do this kind of stuff together. So yeah. we'll expand on, on some of these things in uh, in another show. Maybe we'll make it kind of a piecemeal thing. Each show you can give us another tip on, on becoming a streamer or things that you're learning because this is – this is new to you. I mean, yeah. you're, you're a weekend. Yeah, you've had some stuff, you know, that you've done before. But now you have the uh, very legitimate setup. And I think it would be good also to share with people what your hardware specs are and all that kind of stuff. Because yeah. I think it's those are the types of things that people need to know when they're going out to buy um, the different hardware and things like that. What are the graphics cards that we're going to be looking for? What are the uh, what's the RAM? All those things. So we can get into that at a later time. But yep. I think this is about wraps up tonight's show. Do you have any other stuff that you would like to discuss there? No. If you want to go follow me on uh, Twitch, case er, Twitch dot com slash backslash backslash 
KCP underscore D Slay and also KCP stream team on Instagram. Hit me up if you want to play or if you want to join the actual team. You know, Where can we find you up. on the IGs, on the Instagrams? KCP stream team. KCP or, stream team or? Or if you want to. KCP stream team will be for game related stuff. If they just want to hit you up to say hi, let's play or something, where can they find you? Uh, sl- Slater, actually, let me look right now. No, it's Derek. It's Slater underscore oh, Derek there seven. There you go. Very nice. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. This has been KCP Kids, as I try to remember the name of one of my 87 podcasts. KCP Kids, episode number eight. We're going to be in the double digits here pretty soon. As you're going to be, next time we see you, it may, it may be before you're a teenager. We'll, we'll make that a goal. We'll join you probably the night before Derek becomes a teenager, mm-hmm. which is when we're going to put the house in lockdown. We're all going to throw the key away and run and hide. So anyway, thanks everyone for joining us. We will... Talk to you later. Hope you have a wonderful week. Don't work too hard, but make sure you get after it. Yep. Bye-bye. See you later. Facebook, thank you very much. We will see you guys soon. As always, if you have questions or anything like that, shoot them to us. Derek at KineticChaos.com. That's D-E-R-E-K. Will at KineticChaos.com. You can find us on the IGs uh, at KineticChaosPod. And Instagram, or no, I mean Twitter, uh, at Kinetic Chaos Pod. Also, no, it's uh, at Kinetic Chaos Podcast on IG and then at Facebook.com, yeah. www.facebook.com backslash Kinetic Chaos. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. And KCPD Slay. Oh, yeah. We got